Hi guys. Today we will show you how you can scrape company leads from LinkedIn. This is the main window of LinkedIn Company Extractor, you can see software is divided into two parts. LinkedIn website is opened in the right side panel, and on the left side, columns are showing the data will software fetch from the LinkedIn website. Now you must have logged in your LinkedIn account here. You can save your email and password here, the software will automatically log in into the right side browser. First of all, we will show you to extract company's leads with the simple LinkedIn account. Just go to the right side LinkedIn website. Search your keyword here. This software is only for companies, so select companies from here. You can change your targeted location from here. When your profiles are showing here, you just have to click on the search button to start the extraction. You can see software is moving automatically to the other pages. Remember one thing if you have a Sales Navigator account then you should extract with Sales Navigator. Otherwise, you may be blocked by LinkedIn due to the daily limit. When you want to stop the extraction click on this button. Software is asking do you want to stop the extraction of emails or not. I'm just going to clear the extracted records because next, we will show you how you can extract data using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. You can change your account type from here. If you want extraction from Sales Navigator you can choose from this drop-down. You can see the Sales Navigator site is opened. This is the home page of the Sales Navigator. Set the number of pages to start to end until you want to scrape data. Now you have to search for what you want to scrape. Sales Navigator is providing two types of leads. The first one is for people personal leads. And if you want companies then select, accounts from here. This software is only for company profiles, so you must have to select companies. Sales Navigator is providing multiple filters to finding the best results. If you want to get only from a specific location you can write or select from here. See when we select a specific location LinkedIn has narrow your search records. And showing profiles only from your desired location. Click to see all filters. You can apply all kinds of filters from here, when you put any filter LinkedIn will narrow your records. Now just click on the search button for start extraction. You can see extraction has been started. The software will move all other pages automatically. Software is picking data from LinkedIn profile and also from Google. You can see from here software is querying to Google with your selected columns. As you know LinkedIn has not emails of the company's profiles, so we can collect them from Google. We will let you know next, how you can select the columns on the basis the software will get emails and phone numbers from Google.
click on this button to stop the execution. If you want to continue the execution of emails then click the no button. Click on the settings button. You can see a pop-up window is opened. From this tab you can set the LinkedIn company extractor settings. We have defined everything here, read these options and apply them as per your requirements. You must have to keep enabled this option and set the values of scroll step and delay here, otherwise, software can't fetch the data from LinkedIn profiles. When we request again and again to the LinkedIn server, then there are possibilities to block from LinkedIn, so we must have to set Delhi here. Click on the phone filtering tab. Here you have to set the settings as per your search criteria, because these are the crawler settings for search engines. Select desired country from where you are looking phone numbers. Phone number is divided into three parts, country code, mobile code and area code. You can also add the codes if you think here's any code that is missing, and just click on this button. Enable if you want to get only mobile numbers, enable if you want the only landline, and enable both if you want to get both numbers. You can also read and set these options which are for special characters in telephone. Enable these options to discard the numbers that look like a date format. Click on the email filtering tab. If you don't want to get the emails along with specific words you can mention your words per line here. Suppose if we don't want emails with Hotmail then we can mention here. You can tell the software to collect emails if your desired keyword is existing then add your words here. As like if we want emails only containing the word Gmail or Yahoo. Sometimes on the web page words are exist instead of symbols, the software first replaces these words with symbols then collects data from the web page, so you can add more words if you want. As we know that LinkedIn is not providing the company email, so the software will fetch the emails and phone numbers from a search engine. You have to select only valuable columns here, like company name and website, etc. Because the software will make queries to Google on the selected column values basis only. Sometimes when we are requesting, again and again, a search engine shows a CAPTCHA to verify we are human or a bot. When CAPTCHA occurs software will wait until we don't resolve it. This is a very important point, if we write the words of email or contact along with company name then the search engine shows us the email or phone numbers on the search page, and we can collect them easily from the search engine. When you have done all settings, click on the save button to save the changes. You can apply the filter on your extracted data. Click on the filter button. You have to select the operation type from here. You can add or remove the text and also can remove the rows on the basis of the selected column. You can see we have removed all the rows where the phone number was empty. For saving your extracted records click on the Save button. Select File Type. Put File Name. And click the Save button. To register the license key click on this button. Software is showing my remaining subscription days here. When you have purchased the license just put the license key here, and click the register button. To purchase the license key click on this button, 